Okay, today we're gonna to be doing a little handyman work. We're gonna be working on replacing this sink fitting. Now, this one's working fine. It's not really leaking or anything, um, but it, it does sit pretty low in the sink, which a lot of times my wife and I have five gallon buckets in here and we have to kind of finagle them. And uh, you know, it works, but it's not the greatest. But the big issue is that this thing has started leaking. There's a seal inside here that started leaking and we just figured rather than try to replace just that, we're just gonna replace the whole sink housing, do a little upgrade here. So I've got the new one. I don't know, it's some sort of fancy Delta, um, but it's a big gooseneck version. Oh, let me see if I can stand it up without knocking it over. So it's going to stick way up out of the top of the sink, and then it has the, the sprayer here that actually extends out of the nozzle. So we're excited to have a little bit uh, nicer, newer one, but it should be pretty well plug and play. The only thing is, uh, so it's designed to be a single mount like this one is but there's actually three holes in the sink, fourth if you count this one. So what we've got is we'll put this adapter plate in to fill the three holes, and then there's a nice little piece of chrome finish here that makes it go to one hole. So in the end, all you'll see is the chrome finish like that. And then it also comes with this little fancy rinky dink soap dispenser. So the soap dispenser will go here and take the place of the old spray nozzle. So. For right now, we've got to get it underneath here. I've already got it cleaned out. And your water shutoff valves there on the left and on the right, I've already got those turned off. So we'll get those broke loose, drained out, and then we'll have to get underneath there and I'll show you how we have to take the nuts loose to take the whole assembly out. Okay, so a little crowded, a little dark under the sink. Let me show you here. Um, got my, my main lines. God dang, I can't say crap. Got my main lines just connected. This this hard line right here. Um, wow, I am upside down. This one here. This is actually over to the dishwasher, so that stays. But there's another fitting that comes out of the top of it right here. Another thread of fitting that I disconnected that goes up to the sink. So that's disconnected. My other one over here on the other side is disconnected. But what we got to look at now is these black plastic caps. This sucks. I could never be a plumber because of this. So these black plastic caps here, they've got the little flanges on. Those have to come off. So you can see that one's, it's just a dead blank. There's nothing on it. Same on the other side over here. And that again, that's what you have when you have a three part sink or you have a three hole sink and only a single side, um, you know, not individual handles. You're gonna have those blanks. So that's fine. Um, but let's reach up here and see if we can't twist one off they might be I might have to break them with pliers I don't know Ugh, yeah I can't get on the finger so I'll get those all broke loose taken off and then that whole sink assembly will just lift right up and out of here so let's get those taken off and taken out of here and then we'll get a good look at it okay so we got them at least broke loose I can get my light for you to see I just used a pair of channel lock pliers and open them up so you can get a little bit more leverage oh my gosh what am I there we go and you can see now they just spin free. So I've got them all broke loose. This one was kind of a funky one over here because it's actually not a big flat disc, but instead it's just this big long um, kind of hex washer that holds that flange in place. But they're all broke loose. So the whole sink assembly up top will wiggle now. And um, I'll go ahead and get them all taken out and we'll pull the whole thing out. All right, look at there. We can actually see it in some daylight. What I was trying to, what I want to show you was this sort of quick connect whatever this is that goes on your sink sprayer end I couldn't figure out how to get that disconnected I think it's just some sort of cheapo seal assembly uh, but I couldn't figure out how, if I just yank it apart you know just get get mean with it and pull it apart uh, so I just went redneck on it and I just cut the hose because we're not reusing this hose anyway you can see the new one has a similar connection here that little o-ring assembly there is the downspout and then here's where the other piece hooks to it and yeah I, I think it I don't see any other way that it works other than it just shoves on there with some force and then I guess just having those o-rings is enough that it won't leak. I wonder if they sent some grease or something, we'll try to find it. But anyway, old one's out. I'm looking forward to throwing it in the trash and we'll get all this scrubbed up, cleaned up. That's weird. I forgot how to get that off there. Like that. So we'll get all this scrubbed up, cleaned up, and then we'll get the new, get to work on putting the new one on. So I've got my wife cleaning up the um, old sink base so we can get it nice and shiny because it needs it but i was going to show you guys a couple of the other attributes of this uh, setup it has these long extended kind of hard lines that come out and they're, they're flexible enough you can bend them because they're super long these are going to be your direct 
hot and cold feed lines. They even got them labeled red and blue for you so you know which uh, valve to hook them up to. Um, and then of course here's the end of your, your flex line. Now when you go to hook that up, it actually comes with this little weight. It's like a little, just almost like a little sandbag. It actually rides on that hose so you got some weight to help draw it back up so your, uh, so your hose isn't always dangling down in the sink. Um, it's got those and then this little clip here is actually what's going to be when you hook your the end of your sprayer here just slides over the o-ring fitting oh there we go there it is this little o-ring fitting this piece is just going to slide over it just like that and then that blue clip goes on there and holds it all together so it doesn't fall apart and leak under your sink. So real quick and easy install. And then of course the other thing is just going to be these, these, these nuts to go back on to hold that base plate and everything together. But it's a little misleading because there's a couple things in the directions it shows that didn't come with our kit. They don't pertain to our kit, um, but they show them anyway. But you just kind of have to lay it all out and look and see what you got and you can figure it out. Um, I was going to show you this here. So it, it shows these these sort of base um, trim collars, and we don't have that. And I think those trim collars are probably just if you have a single standalone unit versus a three-hold sink. So since we have the three-hold sink, um, this shiny plate is basically our trim collar. So we don't, there's, there's none of these components uh, here for the trim collar in the box. So don't freak out if you don't have them, so long as you have the right unit that didn't need them. Uh, but then they throw in all the little tools and trinkets and big plastic extension uh, sort of socket nut to put it all together, but I was gonna show you that while we were waiting But we'll start to get it put back in here in just a minute Okay, so let the games begin. We've got our initial uh, Three to one conversion piece This just drops in just like that And then we've got our collar That's gonna go over it like that and it's got two little tabs here um, that match up with uh, slots in the base of your sink fitting so that your whole sink base doesn't try to rotate whenever you rotate the neck of the sink. And then of course here's for our soap dispenser, which we'll do last. Once the sink's all fixed up, we'll throw our soap dispenser in there. Okay, we kind of took a step back because it was giving us a hard time, but I went ahead and put my two nuts on the back side underneath here to hold this down so, well, the trim piece can come off, but the, the base plate is solid now, so it's not wiggling around as much. So we've got our trim piece on, and then again, these two little black tabs have to line up with two little slots in the bottom of the sink fitting, so. We'll get the sink stood up on there, mostly lined up, and then I'll have to get underneath, sorry, the faucet. I'll have to get underneath and put the nut, the retainer nut on the back, get it all lined up. I'll probably have to have my wife hold the top of it just to make sure that it all stays level while we get it lined up. But let's try again on getting her slid in there anyway. And we'll show you. Round two, here we go. Feed them all in. Now watch that O-ring. Make sure it stays where it's supposed to. I was surprised this thing give me fits like this because it seems so easy. You can't get it lined up right, and then just all of a sudden it just falls into place. So I was getting frustrated. So there it sits right, just like that. And then we'll have to crawl underneath, like I said. And can't get it to really balanced, so I'll have my wife hold it and then I'll crawl underneath and uh, put the keeper nut on the back side of it. Okay, so these again are just your keeper nuts, like I explained before, that for that little converter plate. And then you've got your main brass, um, I don't know what you call it, an open, open bracket. You have to slide it up over. It's got a hole in the middle of it. Let me get my light on it. It's got a hole. Oh, good. Okay, it's got a hole right there where the hex nut's at. And so you've got to slide it up over the hose for your sprayer. And then all the way up over this plastic, this plastic threaded extension. And then you have to do the same thing with your actual keeper nut that goes on. The keeper nut has to go all the way up over that plastic extension. So run those two all the way up on there. And then the, all your hoses for your, your quick connects and stuff here all these three hoses just go out, out the side of it there. So it's torqued down now. Um, we'll get our lines hooked up and then we'll take a look up top.
Okay, so we had a little setback um, because the old valves that were on here had the um, that little brass, uh, I don't know if you call it a collet or what, kind of looks like a little eye uh, that sits down inside the valve body as a compression fitting. That was seized in the old valves. I couldn't get it out. And these new fittings don't need it. They don't use it. So I had to run to the store and buy two new valves. Um, there's the other one over there. And had to buy this little T-fitting because they don't sell valves that have a two-way valve anymore. They only sell the one-way valve. So then on top of the valve, you have to put a T-fitting. So, of course, the one side will go to the sink. The other side will be the hot water goes to the dishwasher. So we're back on track now. Going to get the new fittings put in place, which they just have a little rubber... Here, I'll show you this one here. Oh! So they just have this little plastic kind of nipple on the end with a rubber ring and that just slides down inside your valve and then just threads on. So actually easier than the old setup, I suppose, because you don't have to deal with that little eyelet trying to get it lined up just right. So we'll get our cold and hot hooked back up, get our dishwasher hooked back up, and uh, then we'll be able to test everything out, I guess. Last, of course, before we're done is our actual sprayer hose so that's the female end of it we've got to slide this weight on the hose to make it auto retract and then we'll clip over it with this little retainer clip to keep it all together so I'm gonna need two hands to do that but let me do it and then I'll show you what it looks like done together so there you go super easy let me get my light up there on it but uh, whoa don't get drunk right here why is my light not working maybe my lights not even on it's on there you go Okay, so there is that little clip, and so the, the hose just slides over, the flexible hose just slides over that little O-ring um, seal assembly that sticks down from the top, and so it just slides over it, and then that blue clip just snaps on. It's not, it's not real secure. Man, I wish it would clear up the image a little bit for you. Ooh. There we go. It's not super secure. I mean, you can see I, I can turn it, wiggle it, but it just keeps the two pieces from slipping apart. And then here's our weight here, which I'm picking it up, but it just dangles down here. Yeah, I mean, it's a trick to, of course, let me show you. Rig all this mess up underneath here. Oh, y'all are gonna hate me for this. Uh, it's a trick to rig it all up underneath of here as far as you got just hoses and fittings and stuff dangling everywhere, but uh, it's hooked up. You just want to make sure that weight doesn't snag on anything. So make sure before you put it all together that your hoses are free and clear. Nothing's riding underneath anything else. We uh, stuck this piece of tape on here to hold that together. But it should be now. There you go. Pulls out. And slides right back in. So see it just kind of sits in there on its own. The weight doesn't really draw it back in. See it'll dangle but put it up in there and the way it helps it suck in and stay in so with that we're done let me get the water turned back on and we'll test it all right all plumbed up i don't have the sink dispenser in yet but that's not going to be difficult i probably won't i might show you when it's done but it's it's really it just slips in there and threads down but let's go ahead and give her a test here oh yeah that's nice so that's dead center push to the back get hot pull at the front get cold and then on our sprayer here, you can pull it out and spray your regular stream, or you flip this little black switch on the back, and that'll give you, you know, rinse and spray versus steady spray. And then it also has this little black button here, and you can hear the stream pick up. So that little black button is like your turbo mode, I guess. Just for filling up bowls and stuff faster, I don't know why it wouldn't be standard, but probably just one of those, you know, water preservation sort of deals. You have to work to get more if you want to fix. Anyway, looks like it all works, and it works nice, and it doesn't leak. I'm happy. So there's your finished product. This was just really easy. I didn't show you all how to do it, but there's just a, it just has that same kind of big plastic uh, flat nut uh, to hold it on the back, and it's got an O-ring or kind of just a rubber washer to go for each side. So last thing I want to do is just run a little bit of silicone around this whole thing. And that's just so if you spill water up here, you don't get water leaking underneath and running underneath your sink. But it's really probably not super critical since they each did have a a big uh, gasket as well. But it doesn't hurt to put it on there. So we'll do that. But other than that, it's done. And uh, I like it. <laughs>